Hi, uh, <clears throat> this is a video that uh, I find pretty interesting. It's the Hunter Shoots a Bear. It's been around for a while, eight and a half million hits. What I find most interesting is the, uh, the use of it for an education tool. Uh, the idea here is you get to choose your um, you get to choose your ending. Now there is no real choice here. Shoot the bear, don't shoot the bear. They're the same. Uh, but what it does offer is some interesting opportunities for education. Um, if you could get students to create similar stories using video uh, and text, they can hopefully engage. The the learners more effectively, engage other students more effectively in the material. Uh, so it wouldn't be something as mundane as shooting a bear. It could be um, choose uh, choose to vote or choose not to vote. Choose, uh, choose one career over choosing to drop out of school. Choosing this or choosing that. The idea is that the students would be able to create their own stories be able to create their own potential uh, beginnings and ends. Now, uh, for the n more basic aspect of it, could be used for creating, um, for, for getting reluctant writers to participate so that they can explore uh, verbs. This is a clear subject, verb, object uh, instance, and so uh, user reluctant writer or reluctant English learner could play with the video to see what happens when you add the verb so they have more control over it as opposed to flipping pages in a box led by yes well who wants to sit in a box all day that's what most schools are video opens a potential opportunity for students to be more engaged in their learning and this is one way of doing it. Hope uh, this demonstration was useful for you and if you're a teacher please try to think outside of the box more. A lot of the world's problems are rooted deeply in the way our students are taught. Thanks for watching and um, well go play with uh, go play with video. Go create a training video of your own.